Hello, this is Mr. Agbamu in Donald Grenier. I'm here to show you how you can use the Microsoft Word software to do a construction question without any stress. You can even do it in your classroom teaching your student how to do their construction work without you stressing yourself. Just be in your system, project it to the screen, then you talk to your student, they follow the instruction and they flow with you. So how do you do that using the Microsoft Word? Make sure you have the FFX software installed in your system, then integrate it to your Microsoft Word and you are good to go. Alright, so let's let's start this question. This is a simple question I have here. Triangle XYZ, which is 10 cm for XY, then angle XYZ, angle Y now should be 30 degrees, then angle Z should be 45 degrees. So let's construct this work and take it into our Microsoft Word and make it easy. To do that, I'll click on the FFX software, just click on it, then you see different category of FX software, but I need the FX draw, just click on the FX draw, so it has bring, it, bring out the FX draw page now, this is it, then I don't want these grid boxes, just click on this, you hide it, then you start your construction now. Alright, let me get my line, so this is line, get my line draw your line just make a straight line all right then get your compass from here then your compass i need radius 10 centimeter so that i can make my length x y then click on the line make an arc simple click on this point make the other arc all right that is all then label your this is for text i need text box you click here, write your X, alright, click on this place, put your Y, okay, so that is that, so let me move them close to where I want, so let's click and drag, alright, let's click and drag, okay, so this is X, Y, let me use my ruler to check, Get go to your box here, okay, this is ruler, just click on X, drag the ruler, you see it's 10 centimeter okay let me undo this and move the ruler all right the next thing is angle xyz is a 30 degrees so i need 30 degrees on this side so get your compass place the pin here okay sorry let me undo this and do this my radius i need a convenient radius let me use two centimeter okay click on this point make your arc click here okay make the 60 degrees arc no i don't want this undo this click all right so this is all i want okay then i need to bisect this 60 to get my 30 degrees click make my arc all right then i need to click on this place then cross over all right so this is my 30 degrees then get my line join here straight or straight down okay so that is that Okay, so the next thing I need to do now, I need to construct my 45 degrees on this side so that I'll complete the triangle, get my point Z, and that is all with this work. So get your compass again, click on this point, make your arc, alright, so this is my 180 degree arc, then I need a convenient radius here, let me take something like 4. All right, click on this point and click again. Okay, and make my app here and come to this place. Your normal construction step just follow the normal step for your construction, you will get all you need. All right, do this, that is all with that. So, I need my line now, get my straight line. Okay, so on this point place it draw straight so this is 90 degrees line so this angle here now you can see the symbol of 90 degrees appears so this is 90 degrees 
So by set your 90 degrees, you get your 45 degrees. So how do we do that? So this is 90 from here to here. So I need to buy set. So okay, let me undo this first. No, I need to undo this. I need to get a convenient radius and do this. All right, let me take a convenient radius of um, let's say two. Let me take two, two should be okay. So click, make an arc. Okay, we come to this place. Okay, so click. Right, so this is all I've done my 45 degrees. The next thing I need to do now is to join the lines so you get your line okay let me the system is hanging so you not respond all right is back get your line place it on this point all right so we go straight so that is all then where the two lines intersect and go for 30 and go 30 degrees and 45 degrees they intersect on this point so that is my point F, my point z then all i need to do is to label it and this construction is over okay get your label and get my text box now okay System is hanging or responding. Let me wait a little. All right, so get your point Z, and that is that. Okay, I'm true. Let me just click and drag it close to where I want. Okay, just move. Okay, so this is the triangle construction. Well done, and okay. So this is your triangle X, Y and Z and angle Y is 30 degrees. You see all the instruction of getting 30 degrees is there. Then angle X, angle Y, X, Z is 45 degrees. That is this angle. You can see the construction well constructed and clean the way you want it if you use your instrument to do it. So that is that. So to go back to your Microsoft Word when you are through, just come to this place, click on it, you will return back the way you would like to see your construction. And that is that. So it should be hiding somewhere. Just click and drag up. Let's move it up. Okay. Let's move it up. So that is that. So this is your construction. So this is your work. Okay, let me move it down a little. Okay, so this is your work. So using a ruler and a pair of compass only, construct triangle X Y Z where X Y is 10 centimeter. You can see it. X Y 10 centimeter. Then 30 degrees is for X Y Z. You can see and the 30 has been done. You see all the instructions, all the steps. Okay. Then angle Y now, angle Y X Z 45 degrees. You can see it. So Y X Z 45 degrees. See all the steps have been done, and that is that. So this is the work, and this is all I wanted. I just want to show you in this video using your Microsoft Word to do a simple construction work that will be okay for your student to follow you and to have a good printout using your Microsoft Word. So that is all I have for this video. So if you want to do any editing again on this work, all you just need to do, go back to your FFX, click on the work, so you just click on it, FFX, click on it, you see edit, then click on edit, you go back to where you came from and see it. So let's assume I want to check, measure these angles to be sure if this is 30 degrees or if this is uh, 45 degrees. All I need to do, let me get, look for my compass. Let me look for my compass here. 
sorry my protractor so this is my protractor just click on protractor let's see stem is hanging okay so click here okay. just click and drag you see your protractor then place it where you want it to be so you can see this is 40 0 40 see this is 45 degrees so you can see that angle x is correct so we don't have any challenge with angle x it's actually correct 45 degrees all right then if you want to measure this side 30 click on the protractor now okay, to measure the 30 degrees you click on the protractor and move it let's move it to this second side just place the zero here so this is zero this is 90 let's count you can see zero down to 30 you can see system is hanging that's why it's writing not responding okay let's wait for it to calm down okay so but you can see it's zero now you see zero 30 degrees so the angle on y is correct x y z is 30 degrees then all i need to do now i need to delete this uh, protractor then go back to my work in my microsoft Word, and that is all with this construction work so as you click on the protractor just press the delete button in your in your keyboard so the protractor will be deleted from the work then you go back to your microsoft word and that is all so i click on the delete button in my keyboard then click here and go back to my microsoft word and that is all with this construction work you can see it using your microsoft word to do a clean construction the way you want to use it if you are the way you want to see your construction if you are using your compass and your instrument you can see it clean and clear and we'll triangle x y and z where angle y is 30 degrees angle x is 45 degrees then the triangle is down x y and z so this is it and that is all question completed and okay so let me see if i can reduce the size of this normal microsoft word to just click and drag let's see hope it will not disturb the resolution okay it's all right so you can actually click on it and reduce the size okay you can see it there all right so so that you can actually see the question and get it let me still reduce it a little all right and drag it up Okay, so this is using a ruler and a pair of compass only. Triangle X, Y, and Z is ten. It's a triangle. It's a triangle. The X, Y is ten centimeter. Angle X, Y, Z is thirty degrees. Angle Y, X, Z is forty-five degrees. You can see how the construction come out the way you would like to do it using your instrument. So this is all I have for this video. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.